You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It's Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we have got your weekly comings and goings editions. We've got your cast ins and outs, who is going to be coming on to the character canvas, and who are we saying goodbye to? We're going to dig into all of this in just a second, but if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our General Hospital updates, spoilers, and news. All right, on July 6th, we have got Cassandra James back as Dr. Terry Randolph. She has got scenes with Elizabeth Weber where she is encouraging her friend perhaps in her love life since she is re-sparking with Dr. Finn lately. Also on July 3rd, we are going to have Ken Schreiner back in scenes as Scott Baldwin. This is interesting to me because you remember, you may remember that Ken Schreiner had tweeted out that General Hospital had written him off the show. This is not the first time that Ken Schreiner has tweeted out something like that. The bottom line is he's not on contract, he's on recurring. So he gets the number of episodes that they decide to give him. He's not guaranteed anything. You only get a guaranteed number of episodes when you're on contract. He is not a contract player, but he is back and he's got scenes with Cody Bell while they are plotting about this lawsuit over Leopold Taub and the Ice Princess necklace. We're also going to see scenes with Robert Gossett as Marshall Ashford spending family time with TJ and Curtis. All right. Cyrus Renault is back. If you don't know this actor, Jeff Kober is just simply fantastic. He he just chews the scenery. He's so great. Everything he does. I'm really enjoying him. And he had his first appearance back on June 29th. And we're going to have a good bit more of him. He's going to be heavily involved in Drew Kane's life as Drew Kane checks into Pentonville Penitentiary next week. That should be very upsetting. For Drew, anyway. We're also expecting to hear an air date soon from William Lipton. He plays Cameron Weber, and he is supposed to be coming back this summer. His last appearance was March 30th, and they wrote his exit saying that he was a mid-year entry into um, USC, maybe? Some California college. He got a college scholarship. He took off out of Port Charles. The real reason that happened was that the actor, William Lipton, needed more time to vote to devote to his own college studies. And so he wisely took a step back from General Hospital and they wrote him out. But he was supposed to be filming over the summer while he's on break from his school schedule. So if he films this summer, I would anticipate that we'll see him back, you know, at some point in July and hopefully in August before he has to leave again. That should be very, very interesting. Also, Spencer Cassidyne is a concern for people. They are worried that he is going to be leaving. He is front and center in front burner storylines right now with Esme and Trina and his little brother, baby Ace Cassidyne. But as you know from watching General Hospital, Nicholas Chavez is an extremely talented young actor. And he was recently cast in a Netflix series that was created by Ryan Murphy. It's called Monster, and this is for season two. The first season was focused on Jeffrey Dahmer, and it's it's basically about murderers. And he has been cast to play Lyle Menendez. You probably know, depending on how old you are, the Menendez brothers killed their parents. They riddled them with bullets, went back, reloaded, and shot them some more. It was a messy, messy, messy murder. And the brothers, I believe, are still in prison. Eric and Lyle Menendez and Cooper Coke has been cast to play Eric Menendez. And I can see he has enough of a resemblance to Nicholas Chavez to where they could could make it work as them as brothers. I believe Nicholas Chavez is going to do a great job with this. If you don't know who Ryan Murphy is that created this series, he also did Glee and American Horror Story. He is an absolutely fantastic showrunner. However, even though Nicholas Chavez was cast in the role, there's a big question of when taping will begin because of the writer's strike that is still ongoing. There's no scripts written for this Netflix series. I'm sure once the strike is over, they're going to hustle it out and do all that. But the bottom line is the strike has been going on for a few weeks with no signs of abating. The last time the writers went on strike like this, it was a hundred days of strikes. So 
What this means is General Hospital is going to have to take a wait and see approach and then figure out how to write Nicholas Chavez out temporarily while he shoots that show. But for right now, it doesn't look like we're going to lose him anytime in the next couple of months. It's just going to come down to when the strike ends and we will revisit this and bring you more information when there is more to be had. In July, we are welcoming Walt Willie. As Jack Montgomery, he's bringing his All My Children character over to GH, and he is going to have scenes with Felicia and Lucy, and it looks like he is part of the storyline where Felicia is investigating Martin Gray's background on behalf of Lucy Coe. Lucy wants to know why he doesn't want to marry her, and Martin has a couple of things going on. He's getting these big $50,000 alimony payments into his bank account each month. So that's one reason he can't get married or that money would dry up. And the second thing that's been weird with him lately is he keeps telling Lucy, stop telling people that I helped you come up with the idea of the deceptor. So we actually did a special video on this. Check our General Hospital playlist where we are wondering if they are actually going to bring Erica Kane over for an episode or two, which would be a big coup. But Jack Mc. Montgomery is coming and he's her ex-husband and her lawyer and Erica ran a couple of beauty companies on All My Children and if she had been developing a similar product and had told Martin about it and then Martin said drop some hints to Lucy so that she was able to basically develop the same product he could be in big trouble and wouldn't it be great to see Erica Kane over on here all right two more things to talk about real quick one is that as Ned continues to be Eddie Main, we are still really hoping that there's a chance we got Rena Sofer back as Lois Cirillo. We could see BLQ calling her mother and saying, hey, could you just show up and help dad a little? That would be great. All right, we have one last thing to talk about with casting. But real quick, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any General Hospital updates and click a like if you have enjoyed this comings and goings edition. The last thing we want to talk about is Haley Pullos, who, of course, had the role of Molly Lansing. She's in rehab right now. She has been formally charged with two felonies and one misdemeanor for her drunk driving wreck where she crashed into a guy and he was seriously injured. If you check our General Hospital playlist, we actually did a video on this. If you look for the one where the the guy is suing her now and he called her despicable in the lawsuit because of the combination of alcohol and drug consumption that she's alleged to have done in the car while driving before crashing into first a parked car and then getting onto the freeway on ramp, going the wrong way and crashing into this young man. She's in rehab right now. And what we learned and we talked about in this other video is that in the state of California, California, time spent in rehab, even if it's a luxury spa rehab like she's in, can count as time served towards your criminal sentence. Isn't that amazing? Wouldn't it be great if you could have that for any charge, if you could rob a bank and then go to robbery rehab and then, you know, spend your time there instead of a grubby prison. So the bottom line is, it looks like the network has confirmed that the recast of Holiday Mia Kriegel is going to last through the summer, but I guarantee... I won't guarantee, I 78% guarantee based on the discussion that we had with a experienced California DUI lawyer is that Haley Pullis may be in rehab for six to 12 months. They're probably going to keep her in there for the length of time that they anticipate a likely prison sentence will be, or if they work out a plea deal for a specific prison sentence. The DUI lawyer told us that he, if he were her lawyer, he would advise her to stay in rehab that whole time so she could end up serving zero time for this crime. But that means she probably will not be back, at least not for a while. And I would be surprised if they were able to bring her back without facing some serious fan backlash due to the egregious nature of these alleged crimes. Let us know what you think below. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>